You can call me Tag for short and welcome to my channel. <laughs>to Debo Vibes. If you recall, we had a challenge that we did together called Shrimpin' Ain't Easy. So shout out to all of you who participated in that. You can always participate in it again if you like. But let me show you a clip of my video and then I'll show you a clip of Debo's. Before I get started, y'all, this was a great idea for this challenge. Um, definitely cool to collab and get this all going. Let's go ahead and do uh any mini mighty mo. Let's go ahead and do the pasta with the uh you know what I'm saying with the sauteed shrimp right here. And I'm going to put in some uh there you go. This y'all right there. Y'all put it in some uh, cocktail sauce, you know what I mean? And let's go ahead and eat. I'm drooling. Cheers. So yeah, hopefully that refreshed your memory. I will also have those full video links in the description box below. I'll also have a link to the playlist of those who joined in the challenge. So I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. But yes, Debo reached out to me and said, I'm doing a Shrimp and Easy 2.0 video. Do you want to join me? And I was like, definitely sure. It's not a challenge, but if you would like to join in and do a Shrimp and Easy 2.0 video, why not? <laughs> but it's not a challenge. So, um, I'll tell you what I have and then I'll say a prayer and we'll get into this food. So guys, I have a ramen bowl with some turnip greens, also neck bone, the ramen noodles, of course. I also have some shrimp that I cooked on my cast iron grill pan. And so, yes, also some cilantro, lime, and then some cucumbers here as well. And a glass of wine. I am drinking the Il Duca Imperial <laughs> Cardinal Red Sweet Red Wine. So there we go. So I thought, you know what? It's been a year since we did the Shrimp and Ain't Easy videos. And so I was like, gotta have a glass of wine. So cheers to you all. Cheers to Debo Vibes as well. So let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for this food I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. I ask to be with my viewers. Keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna get into this. All right, so let's get a bite of this. Here's a bite for you. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Get into this ramen. Mm. Add some of this cilantro so I can get this out of the way. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. Some of these turnip greens. Mm. Y'all, it's late for me as far as doing a mukbang and I'm starving because I was kind of snacking a little bit, some sriracha. <laughs> um, I was kind of snacking a little bit, but this is like the first actual meal and I couldn't wait for it. I had already planned to do the neck bowl ramen and then when i uh was chatting with debo i was like "Ooh, i could just add shrimp mm. 
Mm. I got the drip. <laughs> Y'all, this is good. I gotta enjoy a few bites, y'all. I was so hungry. But it was worth the wait. Mm -mm -mm. So, y'all, um, when we did the shrimp in and easy challenge, Debo and I were around the same amount of subscribers. I think we both had like 700 something or so. And, uh, he reached out to me and it was my first um, challenge collab with someone. And so I was excited to do it. And then he came up with the name. I will say Debo comes up with some of the best challenge names. Like he's very creative in the way that he comes up with those names. And so shrimping ain't easy was very fitting. I think you had to have 10 shrimp and then eat it in a meal. Um, try to be creative with the meal that you ate it with or whatever it might be. And so... It was cool to see everybody's videos. What people came up with. It was funny because when we went to Atlanta for the uh, Trey and Nene meet and greet, the first event that we went to was uh, Tam's event. Tam's table had a little kind of meet and greet at um the crab place i can't think of the name right now <laughs> but um so when i first saw debo that was one of the first things he was like shrimp ain't easy shrimp ain't easy but yeah debo is good people we went over to his house Hung out with him, more eats, Trudy Lee from Sincere Team, and all good vibes. Had a good time. Everybody was just super chill and Good vibes. It's always cool when you see people in person and they're just like cool. <laughs> I had to eat a little bit of this so I could get to this neck bone that's in here. Woohoo. Mm. I don't eat pork or beef often. This is a pork neck bone. But when I do, it's a treat. Oh, this meat's falling off the bone, look. I should have put, um, I think some of the meat fell off in the bowl. I should have put, I should have put another one in this bowl. I have a big pot of the greens that I'll enjoy. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mmm. Little pieces of bone falling off. Woo. So y'all, please make sure you check out Debo's video. If you 
did the Shimpin' It Easy Challenge. Feel free to do a 2.0. <laughs> like I said, it's not a challenge or anything, but if you like. It's greens. Y'all, I'm maxing over here. I was so hungry. Oh, yeah, some of that meat fell off in there. Mmm. Good meal. So... I'm gonna show a few clips of different people who did the challenge. We have some good old garlic butter spicy shrimp. Boiled shrimp. Amazing channels, a little fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna put some more uh, uh, Alfredo. Talk about what we have on our plate first. Yes, we got some big shrimp po' boys. And I am gonna show an aerial view of the food too. Got a little lettuce, tomato. Yep, some... Rem homemade remoulade sauce. Yeah, wifey makes a great homemade remoulade. A little Dominican touch to it. Uh, delicious mofongo made by my mama. So yes, you guys, she's spoiling me. She's spoiling me. So I have four panko breaded shrimp here. I have shrimp and grits. It's a cauliflower grits. I have um, an extra shrimp that I was I had. So I, I initially had 10 and then I added those four. Um, I have three deviled eggs with shrimp on them. And let me get my ranch on here. I mean, my sour cream. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Put all this other mess to the okay. side. I, I can't oh, you didn't get none of that? Well then, what you waiting on? Did you get some? Some what? What yeah, you, I did. Well, how you, why you digging your oh, hands? Okay, my hands, your hands don't matter. Please don't get mad if I didn't show your clip because it would take up a long video for me to do everybody's. But like I said, I am going to put the playlist in the description box so you guys can go back. If you didn't see those videos, you can run that playlist and watch those who participated in the Shrimp and Ain't Easy challenge so it's crazy that it's been a year it's been a year shout out to Debo for the goals that he's been reaching as well shout out to myself for, for hanging in here too because you know you never know with YouTube Like, sometimes people start and then they never continue and then you don't see them anymore. So it's cool that to see him still making videos and doing well, check out his 90s topics and all that a really good channel very unique and i think when you watch it you can reminisce because some of those topics you don't even think of like some of the artists that he mentions it's like oh i forgot about that group or I haven't thought about this group in forever. I haven't listened to that song in forever. So 
just a good way to kind of reflect on the 90s and all that because that was one of the one of the most iconic times for music that we've had I mean probably since like Motown and stuff but like it just it was a time where it was just so many groups and artists and singers so much I think the ramen made me full. What's crazy is like, you can be so hungry and then you think you're gonna eat a whole, whole lot. But I did kill this bowl. That was like 12 of the shrimp, but there's, they were small, they shrank a lot. I should have got the super jumbo shrimp because those shrink a lot well guys i appreciate you all so much for tuning into this video um like i said if you want to do shrimp in a easy 2.0 and just cook a dish with shrimp in it <laughs> but if you want to join us go ahead <laughs> but shout out again to debo vibes thank you so much for Include me in the Shrimpin' and Easy challenge as well as the Shrimpin' and Easy 2.0 collab. So I appreciate that so much. And guys, make sure you go and check out his video. It will be in the description box below. Also, go and check out his channel. Watch a few videos, like, comment, subscribe so you can kind of see what he's about. Give it a chance. So I think you'll enjoy it. And if you love 90s culture, you'll definitely enjoy it. So that's it that's all i appreciate you all so much this was delicious i'd recommend it neck bone ramen was so good it's delicious oxtail would be good too really really good but anyway guys as always don't forget to like comment share subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when i post until next time cheers bye